Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. What is the minimum depth of working space in front of electrical equipment, rated 1200 amps, 480 slash 277 volt, with exposed live parts on both sides of the working space? And the correct answer to this one is four feet. And for this one, we're going to head to 110.26a. Now, everything that we're doing in the code is we are first protecting the people and then the property. The people first and then the property. And if done correctly, we can. it's harmonious. And for this one, we're going to head to 110.26. But before we jump into the table of 110.26a, I want to make a clarification here. It's a big misnomer that only electrical equipment that is going to be worked on while energized is required to have the working space. And that's partly true. If it's required or if it's likely to be worked on while energized, it's required to have the working space dictated in 110.26a. But did you know that all electrical equipment is required to have working space and access? Let's go back to the beginning in 110.26. It says, access and working space shall be provided and maintained about all electrical equipment. And at that point, it doesn't give any dimensions yet. But you have to be able to access all electrical equipment because you might need to work on it. Now, it may be one of those pieces of equipment that truly are going to be de-energized and it doesn't need to meet the working space in 110.26a like we're getting ready to learn. But it's still required to have a uh, working space, electrical working space. Now, let's dive in and answer our question for today. And for this one, we're going to head to table 110.26a. And this is going to be one of my favorite tables because it's so simple to read. On the left-hand side is going to be our nominal voltage to ground. Across the top is going to be depending on our condition. And then here, when we tee off with those two items, we're going to find how many feet of working space we're required to have. Let's go ahead and answer our question for today. First, let's start with our nominal voltage to ground. Well, ours was 480 slash 277, but we're only going to be working with that lower number because that is our highest voltage to ground in this case. So we're going to come here and it's going to fall into this middle column. It's if you're in between 151 volts and 600 volts. Then we need to come deal with this condition business. Now down at the bottom is going to list your conditions below this table. Condition one is if there's exposed live parts on one side. Condition two is if there's exposed live parts on one side and there are grounded parts on the other side like a block wall or something like that. And then condition three is going to be if there are exposed live parts on both sides. So this one, we need to first come to our nominal voltage, which is the middle column. Then we need to slide all the way over to condition three. And that's where we're going to find this four foot requirement. I am the electrical code coach. And my bargain is that these videos will add value to you and you will in turn add value to others. Let's get to it.